Yeah, bout number 14, three times two minutes K1. Richie Smith from flying out fourth dimension in the blue trunks with the blue and white trunks, sorry. And we have Jake Berkey flying out of Team Taz Muay Thai making his debut. It is the fifth fourth dimension fighter we've seen tonight. Been impressed with all of them so far. Clearly a good gym. A lot of intensity building up here. Round one. Nice combinations from Jake there. Yeah, quite this, this Richie's a bit of a twitchy fighter as well, as well, isn't he? Yeah. Plus his hair dancers as well. <laughs> <laughs> Great dancing haircut. Ooh, you oh, you can hear that. Powerful leg kick. That uh, sounded like Nicki Minaj got spanked there. <laughs> He won't want to be taking too many of them. It'll affect his movement in later rounds. And a big dead leg to deal with. Jake needs to get out of that corner there. Both guys look quite powerful, guys, when they want to be. Yeah, they've got that technique. You know, uh, sharp strikes. Sharp, snappy strikes. You two can hear it when it lands as two well. Two foot and leg kicks there. Nice leg kick there from Good Richie. combination, set him up with the one-two. Jake fires one back, eats an overhand right from Richie there. Another nice leg kick there, you can hear that one. Nothing much really going on here, just an exchange of leg kicks. You watch no one's real there. Jake throws one and then Richie throws one. Yeah, just Keeps us in the clinch battles. Oh, there oh, you go. Big right hand there. Richie taking the centre of the ring. He's making Jake move around here. I don't know how much, how many more of these leg kicks both fighters can take. End of the first round there, uh, mostly uh, leg kicks thrown. Um, yeah, uh, nothing much really happened there apart from an exchange of leg kicks there, a few punches thrown, but each guy uh, was able to avoid, you know, much striking there, uh, much uh, hand, hand strikes landing there. Which way, which way do you think the first round went? It's a bit hard to say. I think probably Richie had that one a little bit more, in my opinion, there. What would you say? I wouldn't want to call it Venice. Sit on the fence, really close one. If you put a gun to my head, I'd probably say Richie. But, like I said, not really a lot to go off there. No one really taking control. Like the last fight we saw, we saw Josh Morris, and the one before that, Ben Longstaff. Totally, clearly taking control. But this one, not really a lot to go off. I'd like to see some more punches being thrown in this second round. Yeah. I think both guys were going for it at first and then they realised that, well, it's not really landing, so we just have a leg kick battle. <laughs> <laughs> Flying knee attempt, straight to the guillotine. Yeah, that's what happens when they go into uh, punching range. They Seems to end into a bit of a clinch just or a stalemate. Yeah, just clinch. That was your Floyd Mayweather. Just clinch yeah. up. And when punches are thrown, it'll be like sort of one punch at a time. It yeah. won't be a combination of punches. That's why it was quite refreshing to see someone like Josh Maris earlier. That's right. But clearly a golfing class with his boxing. That's it. Punches and bunches. Got a bit of blood coming out of Jake's nose. Am I making it up? Can't quite see from this angle. I think you might be right though. Big roundhouse to the butter. Nice right hand there from Jake. And 
Richie exchanges one as well. So at the minute, neither fighter really going for the kill. Oh, oh, oh there we go. Oh. Big. Oh. The referee needs to jump in a bit sooner there. Yeah. Yeah, it looked like Richie got kneed in the head as well there when as he was going down. Do you see yeah, that? Yeah, I saw that. That referee needs to jump in sooner there. Is that a bruise that, that cut on Richie's that's eye? A, that, that's a bruise there. That's a hell of a black eye. Was that from the knee as he went down? He took several shots in that area and then the knee as well, so... His eye looked, his eye looked swollen shut. Richie's got a job on his hand now with his eye that way. His tempers are boiling over here now. That started really by that knee, I think. Yeah, I'm not saying Jake did that on purpose. It's hard to say when you're in the battle there in the heat at the moment, but that knee really should have been avoided. Yeah, the referee could have jumped in and stopped that there. He's sort of taking a bit of a back seat, really. I don't know what... I'd like to hear what um, the fourth dimension corner are saying to the ref here. Probably echoing our words. Expect an uh, explosive third round the way the second one's ended. A lot of intensity boiling over. I don't think Richie seems... I don't know exactly what's going on here. Richie doesn't look in the best condition. Decision. Sensible call. Not much else you can do when something like that happens. Unfortunate because it's been shaping up to be a really good fight. Respectful 